The $2.5 million grant will be used to buy and demolish 14 homes in Plainville. It will also help some financially strapped homeowners who have had to live through a whole bunch of floods get back on their feet. News 8's Keith Coons live at News 8 Control tonight with more. Keith? Darren and Sonny, these families lived in what is essentially swampland, the kind of place where houses probably never should have been built in the first place. But now, thanks to those federal dollars, they will be getting another shot at achieving the American dream. Frank Iris will never forget the day Hurricane Irene blew in and did a number on his home. It crusted here eight inches. Frank is just one of several homeowners who live near the Pequabic River, where the flooding has been so bad and come so often, many homes here have been condemned. Very nerve-wracking because you don't know how much it, how much is going to flood. Is it going to go over the road? Or, or not, you're not sure. Very nerve wracking because you don't know if you got to get all your vehicles out and clean out your basement. But today, the cavalry, in the form of some of the state's top lawmakers, came to the rescue. They announced that the town will receive more than $2.5 million from FEMA to buy 14 homes at 75% of fair market value before Irene and then turn the area into an open space. Although the price tag may look expensive, $3 million to move 14 homes and 14 families. The savings, frankly, just a five or 10 year window um, makes up for that initial expenditure. Those federal dollars will be critical to folks like Tom Zimjewski. Without this, we'd have no possibility of being able to sell the house. He's lived here for 35 years and suffered through three floods last year alone. Well, we have a young daughter and she gets more and more excited every time to see the water coming up, to see the fire engines coming down the street to take us out. and. It's, but it's harrowing on an old person like myself. Yeah. Tom and his family plan to stay in Plainville, but move to an area where rising water is not an issue. So for the 14 families in this waterlogged neighborhood, today's announcement represents a new beginning. What happens here is not only providing relief to those homeowners who deserve and need it, but also open space to the town of Plainville. And if all goes as planned, the town of Plainville will buy those homes in late spring or early summer and have those 14 houses demolished within the following 90 days. So once that wrecking ball gets moving, things will be moving very quickly. Sonia, back to you.